Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. Um, I'm directing you to the iPad Monthly site because if you click on the kids page at the top tab there, I'm going to be using some of the free uh, images that are here um, to go about creating some pretty cool stuff. So these are all free and they're PNG files, which means they've got transparent background, so they're going to look really good. So we're going to jump into an app that I've just come across called uh, Sketchbook. Uh, sorry, Sketchbook Motion. And it's really, really easy to use. If I just go back to the gallery page, you get three free ones. So um, if I just select uh, this one and delete it, we'll do it from scratch. And I think animation is one of those things that is a, a really powerful tool, certainly with scientific explanations and um, some different things that you can actually get kids to think about what's happening. So I'm going to create a free scene. I'll create the, create the evening kind of background. And at the top there, I'm just going to press the really top one there and I'm going to create, uh, sorry, I'm going to import to layer. So it's going to be a new layer that's created and I'm going to use, for a start, I'll just pinch and place my old creepy tree there and press place. And you can see there that it's created a new letter, uh, sorry, a new layer. And I'm going to create a, another layer. So I'll import to layer. I'll bring in one of my little characters here and I'll just position her there as if she's kind of going to climb down the tree and I'll press place. And it's really, really easy to use. A lot of software programs make animation incredibly difficult for kids to get their heads around. So what we're going to do is just a little animation with her climbing down the tree. And then hopefully you can make some other curriculum connections with how you could use this in a little bit more of a learning um, context. But I think giving kids the skills first is a great first step. Um, and then you can kind of look at those connections and curriculum connections. So all we're going to do here is you can see that she's highlighted um, the layer here. I can kind of jump between layers, but I'm going to um, go back to her layer, turn it on so that you can see her. And you'll see down the bottom right-hand corner, there's a little animate button. So I'm just going to press animate once. I'll press B line. And we can get her to pivot or we can kind of select a little kind of path. So what we might do is path and then just have her going down the tree and stopping. And you can see there that it's just animated it straight away. And so we can bring in some other animations and we can do some other things. There's some really, really uh, cool things that we can do with things like control. So we can make it a little bit slower here with her actually climbing down the thing there. Uh, we can actually go back and do some other animations as well with our different areas. So I might press on the tree, for example, animate that and we might have it actually growing uh, a little bit as it grows. And you can bend it and move it and get it coming down and do some really cool different things there. Um, there's some other really nice little animation features as well. Um, things like um, you can make things come down like rain and some boundaries and bend and do some different things, which is really, really cool. Um, we could also bring in another character. For example, if I bring in uh, the same girl, just bring her over this way a little bit, just so you get an idea of the different animations. I'll place that there, animate. And this time we might do a beeline as well, but we could just do a little pivot. So what that does is it just makes it go forwards and backwards a little bit and you can kind of adjust it. So this would be fantastic to have as a way of um, planets rotating, the moon, um, looking at some uh, what goes up must come down, looking at some of uh, Newton's laws, some different things there, and get kids to actually bring that into iMovie with a little narration or even with uh, Explain Everything. And you can actually export these files and do some different things up the top there. So you can export it as a GIF, um, as a video, you could share the link as well. So it's got some really nice features uh, and it's a great way of getting kids just thinking about animations, uh, thinking about movement um, and how you can do it. So there's a limit of three, obviously, animations you can do uh, for free before it gets a little bit more expensive. But I think this is a great little app to get kids animating and doing some wonderful things. Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly.